Do you know? Yeah, I know everything. Oh, do you? Okay. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Sean. I'm Dan. And tonight, I drink wild turkey. Apparently Dan knows about this. Kentucky Spirit. This is the, uh, the first bottle that we've ever purchased through our Tuesday live stream. Our Wheel of Death, it, it hits a slot. And uh, you guys get to pick a bottle. When we get that money, we buy the bottle. All right. Does the intro go after that? Sure. <laughs> Now it does. Because <laughs> there was no cut and talking before that. Yeah. I'm going to put the intro right in after that. All right. I'm, and then I'm, I'm going to keep in you saying, does the intro go in after that? There you go. Do it. See what happens. All right. All right. Kentucky. Spirit. Spirit. Spirit of Kentucky. So nope. it's called. That's not. There's probably a whiskey called that. That is not <laughs> this. So. This is a uh, wild turkey. Kentucky spirit. Single barrel product. Wild turkeys. Uh, That's about all I know about it. Blanton's, as you'd call it. Okay. It's their single barrel. Um, so here's the thing. There, this actually has a really interesting backstory that I wish I could remember all of. Perfect. Because I believe is. Uh, well, okay. Is it Eddie the older one? I feel like so. Okay, I don't really. No, Jimmy, because uh, I always get she wines always talks about Jimmy's. Oh. Right? Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Eddie. Is it Eddie? Oh. All right. You know what? This is how this is gonna go. So a long time ago, Wild Turkey, I believe when Blanton's was coming out, um, or was it Blanton's? It was somebody with a single barrel. They decided to put this out in competition with that bottle. I don't now, know about if you want to look that up, it's not hard to find. I've heard it before on a podcast, and then just put the name of the whiskey across the front. But this came out as a single barrel product when one of I believe I thought it was one of the. Uh, I wonder if it was not Creek. You let them know. I don't know, I'm wasting everybody's time now. Yeah, you are. Let's so, get into it. Uh, this is from Camp Ooh. Nelson, I believe, actually. Yeah, that one. Stored in Warehouse F, but it is 50.5%. This is the new, and most would call Man. not improved bottle design. This smells, and I, I like the old bottle, is this cool like turkey feather thing going on. It's yep. right. Um, the fanned out turkey yeah. feather. But this is like, more like a Russell's to me, Ooh. like right off the bat. You know what? Now that you say that, I'm like, probably not gonna be able to get it out of my head because it does smell pick. like a red label Russell's. Reserve. Yeah, it's got that nice um, sweet cherry up front. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spice. A little caramel. Um, like like classic bourbon notes. Yeah. At fifty point five, so what's that? One 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 proof. Mm -hmm. um, Story checks out. Yeah. Uh, the thing about it is, thing, actually, you kind of mentioned it before the intro, but this is a bottle fun bottle. This is funded by uh, Super Chats from our live stream. This is the first bottle funded by that, just so everybody knows where the source of this bottle came from. What's the age on this, Dan? This, the age on this bottle is approximately, I'd like you to just lay over my voice with certain numbers. So you just have to go through our videos and cut them. I looked at him and said, what do you know about this? And he said, everything. So when I have I up. ever said I knew everything and you went, that's true. And I was like, that I'm right. I didn't know you were just going to yeah. fumble over everything. Never once, really. Um, well, I, I mean, you don't have to ask me the age because it was right here or right there on the screen. <laughs> so, Across the bottom of the screen. Um, but yeah, so. There's like a, a, a lighterness, lighterness, lighter, lighter fruit note in there too I'm trying to go at. Let's put this bottle this way, since I've messed it up four times now. This, in the market's uh, current state, this is the comparison to the Mashbill 2 stuff. It's 60 bucks-ish, it's like 57 or something. 60-ish dollars and it's single barrel and it's, uh, it's around 100 proof. Man, this is gonna be just like bland for me. This tastes like some basic bitch stuff. Really? Yeah, it does. It's definitely got a little bit more oomph than I get out of blends. I think that's, you can get a little higher proof, a little bit more complexity there. But other than that, it seems pretty simple, honestly. Tastes like a turkey product, for sure. Mm -hmm. More than Russell's Red Label. Yeah. Way more. That nutty part of the profile is definitely there. Um. It's like, it's there's, nutty cherries. There's more heat to it than there's a Blanton's, for sure. Uh, 
like the proof I think stands out more than it does with the plans. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it as smooth if you want to call it that. Basic, as basic, yeah. Uh, but really, it, I mean, it is it is pretty smooth in like its finish. It's very soft, but it's like nutty cherries. And yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's anything crazy complex. I think it's good. I could drink a bunch of that. Um, like a lot of vanilla up front. Like actually a lot of vanilla up front. But man, there's like that. What's one, you know what? This is just single barrel wild turkey 101. Where's our bottle of 101? Over that way. Anyways, as Dan was getting that out, I was saying that I think this, um, like the longer it sits there and the more I drink it, the more it really piles on that nuttiness at the end. Yeah, but it's I not agree. it's not overbearing, but it's definitely there. It let's you know. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, there's a, definitely a green note that stands out in this when you smell that. The proof on this actually drinks not as hot, even though they're saying. This sm does smell more dense. This smells more circuit. Oh, circus peanuty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that's got a little bit of a greener uh, flavor to it. Okay, that makes me really appreciate that now, I guess. Well, there, that's at least twice the price. More than that. Um, Man, so this is really simplistic, I agree. It is it is stereotypical wild turkey bourbon mm. milk. But it's a little more rich, I think. It is, it, it definitely coats better. It's a little more um, flavorful. It, it feels like it's gonna stand up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I like that. for these being the same proof, yeah. this, it actually surprises me that as much flavor comes out of this. Okay. Because this, this feels great for like 25 or whatever it is, right? Yeah. This bottle. Absolutely. But, but this one you put it being the, the same proof. $60 Big Brother. way more rich and dense. Yeah. It's also 60-ish and this is also 25, 30-ish. So, um, now they're all single barrel. This has been open for two weeks or something like that now. It's been yep. open for a little while. This is not a true neck pour. We, we've had it open and gave it some oxygen. You got a grade for it? I really like, I actually really like it. Um, I have one bottle of the fan, the feather inside, but yeah. it's a store pick. Yeah. It's about half gone. It's a, um, it's a good one. I don't yeah. ever get to see it. I, I don't want it to ever be gone because the bottle's so cool. Yeah. Uh, I know some people thought the bottle was gaudy. It was like flashy, right? That's an interesting Settle word for down. it. But, this bottle grew on me a lot. I know that, uh, but the sixty dollar Blanton's egg isn't going. Mm, yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. I feel like that's a fair point. Come on. Um, it's a B for me. It's a B. Solid B. Man, sixty feels a little high for flat B. I think if you uh, went down, especially for dude at forty five, that's yeah. a buy all day. Well, I mean, then it puts it right next to rare breed, basically. Yeah, and you know what? There are definitely times I prefer this over Rare Breed. Yep. For sure. And then there's times that I prefer Rare Breed more. You like Rare Breed a lot. I P like Rare Breed. B minus. Normal amount. Yep, I was gonna I'm say. Gonna, I'm gonna talk, talk myself gonna down to a B minus. B minus, because it's um, good whiskey, but $60 is where 1920 lives. Yep. It's above where Rare Breed lives. Um, I, I think that this is a perfect bottle to fit in the Rare Breed price range for people who don't want Rare Breed proof. Yeah. That's what I think. And you I get a lot of the same flavors. Yeah, I think if you like wild turkey, you're gonna like it. Oh, for there's sure. Nothing, if you like wild turkey, there's nothing offensive about that bottle. Oh, nope, it is just literally the big brother of that bottle right there. Yep. Um, you just get a lot more richness, like we said. It's a, a lot little more bit complexity. better balance. Yeah. Nothing's like really, this isn't harsh or spiky. No. It's nice vanilla, nutty, like a peanutty note. That, um, that little bit of greenness, I think, goes right away. On this one? Yeah. On the spirit? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it's a good bottle. I'm glad I, this bottle is growing on me. The label's growing on me a ton, because when I saw it first, I'm like, I don't like that at all. Yeah, we were upset because it literally went from that cool feather bottle Stand into out. the Rare Breed bottle. Mm-hmm. Mm, yep, literally the Rare Breed bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I think I like the Rare Breed label more, because it's got turkey on it. Yep. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know. Stand by. Good whiskey. Yep. It's good whiskey. I don't know what you want from if you're If you're into wild turkey, and you have 60 bucks to spend on something you haven't had, and this is... Pick one up. I would buy one. Yeah. We've had a couple, like we said, so... This is the first of it. the new bottle, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, so they do store picks of it, that's cool. Mm -hmm. This is literally the blend 
Yeah. This is the comparison to Blanton's yeah. for sure. It has to be. Yeah, the Blanton store picks. The price on Blanton's is supposed to be around 60. This is supposed to be around 55, 60. So yeah, good bottle. That's our review, you know? Yeah, so, it's getting it. Yeah. Thanks. All of our links in the comments below. Well, Thank they're you. in the description, but I mean, you can put them in the comments. I'm gonna put them in the comments now. <laughs> I guess, why not? Why not post them somewhere else? Uh, hey, thanks for uh, liking, commenting, all that stuff. We yeah. really appreciate it. It helps out a bunch. Uh, thank you for this bottle. Yeah, thank you thank guys. You. Your this support is, got us. This is crowdsourced Your right support, here. yes, this bottle is crowdsourced. And this video is crowdsourced. I guess. Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And uh, tonight we drink uh, your Tuckus Fairy. <laughs> Proof is in the bar.